Hello students, welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed physics and we defined physics as the study of matter and its relation to energy. In this lesson, we are going to discuss branches of physics. My name is Albert. I hope you are going to enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to state at least five branches of physics, explain the branches of physics, and then finally group at least five Form 1 topics into various branches of physics. In Form 1, we have 10 topics, and these topics ranges from introduction to physics, measurement to force and then the tenth one is simple cell and circuit so i encourage you to find a list of the topics which we are going to study in form one physics and then as we are going to define and explain different branches of physics you will be able to group them into various branches in which they fall Physics can be categorized into six main branches. The first branch of physics is mechanics. In mechanics, we are going to study motion of bodies under the influence of force. In waves, we are going to study energy and how we can transmit energy from one point to another. In geometrical optics, we are going to study light and how light can travel in various mediums from solid to liquid to gases and then we will, we will discuss electricity and magnetism as the fourth branch of physics and in this case we will discuss electric field electric field and how electric field is related to magnetic field to magnetic field and then we are going to study the fifth branch of physics which we call thermodynamics and in thermodynamics we are going to study heat and we are going to see how heat can be transformed from one form to another and then finally we will discuss atomic physics here we are going to study the smallest particle of an element which we call the atom and the accompanying energy changes Mechanics is the first branch of physics and we are going to define mechanics as the study of motion of bodies under the influence of force. So entirely in this branch of physics, we are going to base it on three main types of motions. The first type of motion is what we call linear motion. Linear motion, in this case, we are going to study motion in a straight line. We are also going to discuss oscillatory motion, oscillatory motion, and then we are going to discuss circular motion, circular motion. And then we are going to see how linear motion can be caused by a force, how oscillatory motion, that is a to and fro movement, can be caused by a force. And then we are going to see how a force can cause bodies to move in a circular manner. So, some topics which lie under this branch of physics in form one, we have two. We have a topic called force, the third topic in form one, where we are going to talk about different types of forces. And a good example is a force on your screen that is frictional force, a force which opposes motion. Another Topic in Form 1, which lies under mechanics, is a topic called pressure. And the pressure, we are going to define it as the force acting perpendicularly to a surface per unit area. So in that case, we would have covered the topics in Form 1, which lies under mechanics. We also have other topics in Form 2, 3, and 4. And in those topics under Mechanics, they only discuss motion of bodies under the influence of force. The second important branch of physics is waves. And in waves, we are going to study the propagation of energy through space. Through space, in this case, we mean in 
presence or absence of a medium. And a medium in physics, we mean the three states of matter. So when we say we have a medium, it means the energy will be transmitted in solids, liquids, and gases. And when we say there's no medium, we mean energy will be transmitted without the three states of matter. And how does that happen? We are going to see that as we advance our learning or our study in physics. In this branch of physics, we are going to discuss major things like the working of mobile phones, the television signals, radial waves, microwaves that we use at homes to warm food, the x-rays we use in hospital, and many, many other things that we use in our daily life. We can also define waves as the study of a disturbance traveling from one point to another. Some of the topics which lies under waves include a topic in form 2 called waves, waves 1 and a topic in form 3 called waves 2. We have a topic in form 2 called sound 1 and we also have a topic in form 3 called sound 2. We have a topic in form 4 called electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. So, we are going to also to discuss many other topics as we uh, learn physics. Another branch of physics is geometrical optics. And when we talk about optics, we are talking about light. So, in geometrical optics, we are going to discuss how light behaves as it travels from one medium to another. So in this case, we are going to realize that when light travels from one medium, for example, from air into another medium like to liquids, like water, it's going to reduce its speed. And when it reduces its speed, then it will change direction. That's why when you put a stick inside a clear glass of water, you will see as if the stick or the pencil is bent and many other things we are going to learn in geometrical optics is answering a question like why do we see have you ever asked yourself that question or you think you can you can just see no we are going to explain why we see in the sixth topic in form one called rectilinear propagation of light and we are going to realize that we can only see when light from the object reaches your eye and that is why a person in the dark can see someone who is in the light. And someone who is in the light cannot see someone who is standing in the dark. So some of the topics which lies under geometrical optics include a topic in form one called rectilinear propagation of light, of light. We are going to discuss it. Then we have another topic in form two called reflection. Reflection on curved surfaces. And in reflection of curved, on curved surfaces, we are going to discuss how the side mirrors of vehicles work, how solar concentrators work. And then we are going to discuss another topic in form three called refraction. Refraction. In refraction, that's when you are going to discuss the scenario that is on your screen. And then we have a topic in form 4 called thin lenses. Another important uh, branch of physics is electricity and magnetism. And in electricity and magnetism, we are going to measure our discussion on the relationship between electric field and magnetic field. And when electric field is going to interact with magnetic field, we will get very, very wide applications like the working of an electric motor, the magnetic relays, the telephone receivers, the loudspeakers, and not forgetting an electric, electric bell. An electric bell uses the idea of electricity and magnetism. Now, some of the topics which lies in under electricity and magnetism, in Form 1, we have 
a topic called electrostatics. One, we have a topic called simple cell and circuit. Then we have a topic in form two called magnetism. And then we have another topic in form two called magnetic effect. Magnetic effect on electric current. On electric current. And we have other topics in form three and form four. The other branch of physics is thermodynamics, and thermodynamics comes from the word thermo, which means heat. The word thermal means heat. So in this topic, we are going to study how heat can be transformed from one form to another. In this case, we mean if you have heat, how you can transform it maybe to light energy. If you have heat, how you can transform it to uh, electrical energy. And when you have heat, how you can transform it into other forms of energy which we are going to discuss under thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics, we are going to see how we are going to make our thermometer in the laboratory. We are going to make one in physics. And then we will see how thermometers which we use in weather stations, which we call the, the six thermometer are made. And we are going to see many, many applications like why we have sagging electric cables during a hot day and then they are they are stretched at cold day times and many many other things so some of the topics which lies under thermodynamics in form one they include heat transfer heat transfer we have another topic called thermal expansion and then other many topics like in form three we have a topic called quantity of heat and many other topics which we are going to see as time goes by the last branch of physics is atomic physics and in atomic physics we are going to see the behavior of particles constituting the nucleus you can see the nucleus on your screen and the accompanying energy changes. So in atomic physics, we are going to be focused on the smallest particle or an element which we call an atom. And in this atom, we are not interested with the electrons in the outermost part of that atom. We will be interested with the inner small part which we call the nucleus. And in the nucleus, we are going to see how the particles in the nucleus, that is neutrons and protons, cause an energy change. And in this case, we are going to see how when the particles in the nucleus are bombarded or when they interact, they produce a lot of energy which we can use as nuclear energy uh, in different fields of science and technology. So some of the topics which lies under atomic physics, one of it is a topic in form four which we call radioactivity. Radioactivity. So when we're going to discuss radioactivity, we're going to see nuclear fission and nuclear fusion and how they can cause a change in energy. So in Form 1, we have 10 topics and the first topic is the one that we are handling. So the remaining nine topics can be categorized into different branches of physics. The second topic in Form 1 is measurement. And since we mentioned the measurement in the previous lesson as a scientific, a scientific method of learning, so it means all branches of physics are going to have measurement in them. So measurement one is a central topic. Force lies under mechanics because we defined mechanics as the study of motion of bodies under the influence of force. So atomic force will lie under mechanics. Pressure, we are going to define pressure as the force acting perpendicularly per unit area. So it means in this case it lies under mechanics because it involves a force. 
Then we have particulate nature of matter. Remember, we defined physics as the study of matter and its relation to energy. So if we have a topic which deals with matter, it means this topic lies under central topic because it will be applied in all branches of physics. So particulate nature of matter is a central topic. We have thermal expansion. Thermal, I've said it comes from the word uh, temperature and heat. So it will lie under thermodynamics. Then we have heat transfer. Heat, we said it lies under thermodynamics. And then we have rectilinear propagation of light. Light, we said it lies under geometrical optics. And then we have electrostatics from the word electricity. So it will lie under electricity and magnetism. And then we have simple cell and electric circuit. It will lie under electricity and so students, we have discussed different branches of physics and we have seen how from one topics can be categorized into those various branches of physics. In the next lesson, we will discuss the relationship between physics and other subjects. For now, that is the end of this lesson and welcome to Easy Learning Simplified.